is that the question <coughs> of um, the allegations of ethnic mobilization mm -hmm. is meant to achieve um, the objective of uh, paralyzing the process, balkanizing the process, and excluding a particular uh, community. Where also yes, where the, uh, the the deputy president comes from. Why do I say so? When you go, when, sorry, yes. the impeachment motion yes. round one on ethnicity is, is meant to exclude and polarize. You have seen one community. People, yes, yes, yes. Where the deputy president comes from. Why? When you saw, when when uh, Raila Odinga was granted an opportunity of appointing cabinet secretaries, he appointed two of his ethnic extractions. There was no up hue and cry. Remember, his uh, uh, Raila Odinga got votes even in Mount Kenya region. He never had an opportunity of even seeing any person from Mount Kenya region who was fit to become a CS in this particular government. <laughs> for him, he went for the same, same ethnic extractions. Number two. But Raila is not an appointing authority. Where this government, this government was constituted on the basis of exclusion. <coughs> Remember, it's a, base, it's a government that was constituted on the basis of the hustler's concept, yeah. the hustler's ideology. That hustler's concept and ideology, Mama Mboga and Mama Baiskeri and Mama Skuma, excluded the majority of us from government. Because it's not everybody else who works in that particular field. And that is why you saw there was over 8 million votes who never turned up to vote because they felt excluded. So they were excluded even on the basis of their own economic uh, orientations. So now when it comes to the deputy president speaking about shareholding, he's speaking about the shareholding of the individuals whom the ideology targeted. And that is what he was simply meaning. Now, now that he has been turned all of a sudden to mean that the shareholding concept, he was addressing the Mount Kenya wow. people. You cannot form a broad-based government <coughs> by excluding other ethnic extractions. That's true. This ex ethnic sentiment is meant to show as if the deputy <coughs> president was advocating for uh, the Mount Kenya region. Ask yourself, there is what is called the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. <coughs> that National Cohesion and Integration Commission is the one that is mandated to advising or to giving uh, red al uh, alerts about any ethnic mobilization, ethnic exclusions. Have we had any report from them saying that the deputy president's sentiments were meant to whip ethnic, uh, ethnic sentiments? How, how can a mere MP, in the absence of a constitutional organ report, say that there was ethnic, uh, ethnic, ethnic mobilization, yet the constitutional organ has not given that particular? Let me tell you. From the sentiments, and I, and I, yes? the institution, does yes. it stop citizens from thinking? <laughs> it doesn't stop, no. but it should inform the process because they are the ones who have been granted the constitutional mandate of evaluating whether the country is cohesive. When, when they agree that some sentiments <coughs> might be, <coughs> might, might result to that exclu exclusion, politics of exclusion? They are, yes, it has, they can. And the unfortunate what thing, is the remedy for those sentiments? The remedy for these <coughs> sentiments yeah. is to make sure that the head itself speaks from the concept of national unity. Sorry, what are you saying? The president himself yes. must lead the pack in unifying the country. Let's look at how he appointed his cabinet recently. How about the one of those sentiments? The one of the, the like those of the deputy president. Yes. There is what you did ask o o o um, Okango, and he never responded. Mm -hmm. Where does this border between the freedom of expression and the freedom of speech? Mm -hmm. And where does it also border the, 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 the ability to own your own consciousness and to hold an opinion? Is a constitutional right. Under Article 24, which speaks about limitation, it has not <laughs> clarified whether that is a limited right. However you are told, if your sentiment results yeah. into a manner that may mobilize the country to set a certain dimension, mm. then the institutions responsible should take actions as against that. So there is all these arguments of ethnic uh, mobilization, ethnic uh, sentiments, they are baseless. They are meant to whip emotions. Because when you mention the question of 
emotions, in, uh, sorry, eth ethnicity in this country, mm -hmm. emotions are raised up. Let me ask you, if the president himself was not perpetuating this ethnic mobilization, why did he appoint seven cabinets, seven CSs who are from Mount Kenya region? I mean, he should have gone and give a drummer somewhere. He should have gone and give a courier somewhere one seat. The other one should have gone to, to, to somewhere, perhaps to, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in uh, I mean, the seven positions should not have gone to one commission, uh, to, to, one, to, one, to one community. Well, that's not one community, Wakili. Sorry? The sev there were seven, not one community. there were seven positions that were given to Mount Kenya community. Why? As a reward. For political about. mobilization. With the ethnic diversity that uh, the constitution speaks about, yes. Mount Kenya, the seven cabinet secretaries you're talking about, yes. they don't all speak the same language, do they? They don't, but they are balkanized in one community called the Mount Kenya community. They don't. But when you speak about ethnic mobilization, to, when, when Deputy President is accused, he's not accused of speaking about ethnicity of the Kikuyu extractions. He's also, speaking, he's also accused of speaking about the entire Mount Kenya region because that is what has, he has been accused of, Usiguze Mulima. Mulima is not, is not the Kikuyus. Mulima is the Embus, uh, the Kambas, the Mulima, uh, the Merus, they are the Chukas. So these guys are not genuine. Uh, Honorable Excellency Gashagua is a victim of circumstances and it must be brought out not for purpose of addressing the constitutional requirements, but for political expediency come 2027. And I wonder how people can change. Okanga the other day, he was even lifting in me with a chopper when we were fighting this government. He was one of the proponent as against the policy that this government is, 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 is pushing. I am still. Now, because they're in broad-based government, for him, he's, oh, you are. he has chosen to see I'll, no I'll, evil. I'll, I'll, no, no, no. Right he has chosen to see no evil, to hear no evil, and to speak no evil okay. about this government. Now, now,